Hey, it's Nick with b and and today we're taking a quick look at three of Sony's on-camera shotgun mics, the ECM-G1, B10, and B1M. These three mics cover a wide range of usage cases, from vlogging to professional videography, and they also all share the ability to take advantage of Sony's multi-interface shoe for hassle-free charging and connectivity. Let's dive in starting with the ECM-G1. The G1 is aimed predominantly at vloggers and other content creators, but it's also a great shotgun mic for anyone looking to shoot interviews, outdoor street scenes, or just quick pickups for social media. It has a highly directional super cardioid pickup pattern, which means it will focus audio capture narrowly on the subject directly in front of the camera and reject unwanted background noise from the side and the rear. A camera's built-in mic is usually omnidirectional and low quality, meaning that adding something like the ECM G1 will vastly improve the overall quality of your videos. It features a large 14.6 millimeter mic capsule that delivers a full range sound that you might not expect from an ultra compact on camera mic. And the G1 truly lives up to that ultra compact moniker. This thing is tiny, which is great news for the content creators that it's designed for. Its unobtrusive design means it can be mounted to lightweight cameras such as the Sony ZV-E10 without adding much weight. And perhaps even more importantly, it can be easily added to cameras on otherwise finicky grip and gimbal rig setups. It only weighs 34 grams, and with a height of 2 inches and a length of just under 2 inches, you likely won't even need to move anything around in your camera bag to make space for this. The G1 comes with a wind jammer as well as a 3.5mm recording cable, which plugs into the mic out jack on the side of the device and allows it to be used with cameras, PCs, IC recorders, and other compatible devices that have plug-in power but do not have an MI shoe. But let's talk about that MI shoe, or multi-interface shoe, as it's one of the most compelling reasons for Sony shooters to get this mic as well as the other two ECM mics. When mounted to the MI shoe on a compatible Sony camera, power is supplied directly to the mic via the camera, and then in turn the audio signal from the mic goes directly into the camera. This means you don't have to worry about remembering to bring an additional cable to connect your camera to your mic, you don't have to worry about that same cable then accidentally adding unwanted noise to your video, and perhaps best of all, you don't have to worry about charging the mic or bringing any additional batteries for it. Anyone who shot a long project knows that battery anxiety is a real thing, and it affects millions of video shooters all over the world. But there may be help for you. Talk to your b and rep to see if Sony mics are right for you. So right now we're testing the Sony ECM G1 microphone, the littlest guy. I have it mounted onto the Sony ZV-10 camera. It's a perfect lightweight little run and gun vlogging camera. And everything is set to auto. So uh, what you're hearing right now should hopefully just be my voice. Oh God, it's windy out here. Uh, you should just be hearing my voice directly. There's fountains on the side, there's construction happening. So there's a lot of background noise. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, how this sounds to you. One quick thing you should be aware of with this microphone specifically is when you plug it in, everything automatically is set to auto. You cannot change the record levels by default. You can, however, if you use the included audio cable and plug it in, you can then dial it in. But by default, this microphone works on automatic mode, which honestly, for the majority of people who are using it for its intended purpose, for like vlogging and run and gun stuff, uh, that's probably what you want to be going with anyway. But once again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Moving on to the ECM B10, this microphone is the next step up for video shooters looking to capture crystal clear speech, interviews, ambience, or nature sounds. By combining digital signal processing with advanced beam forming technology, this mic delivers excellent performance in a remarkably compact package that, like the G1, can be easily mounted to grip and gimbal rigs. But the B10 also gives you a ton of granular control over the audio you record. Right out of the gate, you have the option to record in three different pickup patterns. Super directional, which records directly in front of you. Unidirectional, which covers a wider field in front of the microphone. And omnidirectional, which captures sound equally in all directions. You also have auto level control, negative 20 or negative 10 dB pad options when recording louder sounds, and selectable noise cut and low cut filters. There's also a switch on the back for digital as well as analog. Simply put, just about any Sony camera with an MI shoe will be able to take advantage of all the benefits that I outlined earlier, but some of the newer Sony cameras get some additional benefits that are enabled once you select digital. For these cameras, the ECM B10 converts analog sound to digital within the microphone body and performs digital signal processing using Sony's unique algorithms, enabling the three directional pickup patterns as well as noise reduction. In-body digital conversion also helps to reduce noise inside the microphone itself. Here's a full list of cameras compatible with the ECM B10, including the ones that gain this additional benefit of the digital signal processing. The B10 
is also incredibly portable, weighing only 72 grams and measuring 1.06 inches by 3.21 by 3.1 inches. It has a frequency response of 40 hertz to 20,000 hertz and also comes with a wind jammer, which drastically reduces wind noise on outdoor shoots. So now we're testing the Sony ECM-B10 microphone. Uh, we have this one on a Sony a7 IV right now. The pickup pattern that we have for this microphone is the super directional one. So like the G1 that I just showed you previously, what it should be doing is picking up what is directly in front of it, which in this case is me, and uh, rejecting the background noise here. Uh, but the really cool thing about this microphone especially is that you have your options of pickup pattern. So in a vlogging case, the super directional mode makes the most sense, but you can use different options as well depending on the shooting situation. So I'm gonna switch to those different pickup patterns next and you can kind of compare how they sound to the super directional one. So now we have the Sony ECM-B10 and we have the unidirectional pickup pattern set right now. Now what this pickup pattern does is unlike the super directional where it's hyper focused on directly what's in front of it and a little bit behind it, this one is more of like a wider arc. This pickup pattern is good for like a small group of people. If you have multiple people in front of the camera, let's say, and you want them all to be heard equally, uh, this pickup pattern is what would most likely work best in this situation. So now we're testing the omnidirectional pickup pattern on the Sony ECM-B10 microphone. If this sounds noisier than the previous pickup patterns, that makes sense because the omnidirectional pickup pattern is picking up everything equally in all directions. And it's a busy street in New York City once again. Same construction's happening, uh, lots of background noise. So this pickup pattern I would recommend if you, like in nature, picking up maybe ambient noise for a project or something like that. Uh, but for a vlogging style, you would almost certainly be better sticking with the other two pickup patterns. But let me know what this sounds like. And this time we have got the super directional pickup pattern and we've applied the noise cancellation using the dial on the back. Uh, what's cool about this is it's a slider, so you can actually turn it and adjust how much you want the noise cancellation to kick in. Like for instance here, uh, we're on a busy street in New York City, there's construction happening all around me, so if I have any hope of being heard, uh, we're gonna have to use some of the tricks this microphone has. You can see the construction behind me, uh, but let me know how this sounds to you. Um, there's a lot of background noise, so hopefully it's doing a good job of picking up my voice. Uh, all other settings here are set to auto. Finally, the ECM B1M serves as the bigger brother of the B10 and offers the exact same feature set, only instead of the four electric condenser capsules found in the B10, this one comes with a whopping eight. This, in conjunction with possessing the same beamforming technology, allows the B1M to pick up even more detailed sound while still providing you with all of the conveniences of the MI mount. And while the B1M is the biggest of the three, measuring in at 3.22 by 1.08 by 3.91 inches, this thing is still incredibly tiny compared to shotgun mics that offer similar quality. So now we're testing the Sony ECM B1M microphone, once again on the Sony A7 IV. Uh, this is super directional pickup pattern, so this should sound similar to the B10, but the difference between this one and that one is that this one has twice the mic capsules. It is eight instead of four, so hopefully it's picking a little bit of that up, but once again, please let me know in the comments below what you think. So this is the Sony ECM B1M microphone with the unidirectional pickup pattern. So once again, it's picking up a little bit of an arc around it as opposed to super hyper focused. So maybe you're hearing a little bit more of the traffic around here, but once again, let me know what you think. Now this is the B1M with the omnidirectional pattern set up. So it's now picking up everything evenly in all directions. So it might be a little bit noisier, but we have the wind jammer on, so hopefully that's mitigating that as well. But this is what omnidirectional sounds like. All right, nobody wants background noise in their vlogs. So what we've done now is turn out the noise cancellation in conjunction with the super directional pickup pattern. So we have a, the noise cancellation set to five, kind of middle of the road, so you can see how that does at getting rid of the background noise compared to with it not on. This is what I sound like with the Sony ECM G1 at arm's length. This is what I sound like with the Sony ECM B10 at arm's length. This is what I sound like with the Sony ECM B1M at arm's length. While there's many great shotgun mics out there for video creators, Sony shooters especially should consider all the benefits they get with these mics in the ECM lineup. All three microphones combine great audio quality and portability. But by taking advantage of Sony's proprietary MI shoe, they also offer specific features that other mics simply can't. A direct high quality digital signal that prevents audio degradation? Check. A cable free setup that is convenient and reduces the risk of mic noise? Check. No batteries required, preventing you from accidentally ruining a 30 minute live recording because you didn't realize the AAA batteries in your shotgun mic was dead. Not that I know what that's like. Check. But what do you think of the ECM G1, B10, and B1M? And what would you use them for? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.